spent so freaking long searching for this book and it was right there. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. I clicked that bookshelf a dozen times over looking for it. This will make any fence crack a smile. Don't you close on me. Do you know who I am? Okay. Well, we've now accomplished all of our objectives except killing anybody, which is an objective we don't want to complete, and getting the fudge out. So, it is time now for getting the fudge out, and I'm actually going the wrong way to do that. We need to go back to that big stairwell. Let's go hit the sewers and get out of here. Cannot believe it was right there. The game had to be pulling my leg. I searched that bookshelf. You all were there. You all saw it. How dare you, game. Right, we have no more further business here, so let's scare a moosh. I did get the door that was up there. Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay. There's nobody down here to stop us. We've given everyone their nap times. Let's run. Through here. Through the dungeon. Into the secret sewer area. With the sewer, the secret sewer exit <sighs> being our way out. <laughs> and I don't know how far I'm going to get here before the game just cuts me off and throws me into the end three. Ha-ha! I'm here. Mission complete. Dead everything. How'd I do on the gold? Uh, I missed a hundred. Somewhere there was something worth a hundred bucks that I missed. That's not bad. I spent two hours in that mission, though. Whew! All right, let's continue. Keepers have hidden the talisman of fire in a place they call the Lost City. Some kind of cataclysm buried the place underground ages ago. The Keepers have sealed the access to the city, a cleft in the river bottom near the east side. If the materials in the library are right, the strange stone I found can be used to open that seal. I've also got a map. It's so old the edges crumble in my hands. It shows the city, or at least how it was back then. I hope the old place hasn't changed much. Spoilers, the old city has changed quite a bit and that map is not going to help us very much. But we're going in anyways. The Lost City, difficulty expert. The sealed entrance to the Lost City is supposed to be at the bottom of the river around here somewhere. Getting past that is the first step. The Lost City must have a lot of treasure in it. Pick up some. Doesn't tell us how much, but it will in a minute. An expedition the Keepers sent once to the map of the Lost City never turned. They'll owe you a favor if you recover the medallions from the remains. No, they won't, but I'll do it anyways. That's not how the Keepers operate. It tells where the fire was hidden in the city long ago. Time for it to go. Finding the talisman is well and good, but you'll have to get back out for it to be worth it. Notice, there is no don't kill anyone mission, so if we see anyone, we can kill them. Thus making gas arrows a lot less helpful to us in this mission. Because if we do need to commit murder, we will happily. An acquaintance will sell you a commission. He has to pick up some antiques, which you may be able to find around the lost city. Sure. Get some extra cash. 
right. I don't remember exactly what we need. I know we need another one of those. We always want to carry two so that we can chain them if we have to. I also think we're going to be encountering a lot of dead. Which is why the game does not even bother telling us not to kill anybody. Because there's going to be undead all over the place. Meaning we need ammo for holy water. Okay, all those are bought. Healing potions are only if I get sloppy. Breath potions are nice, but we'll consider it. These kill dead people. We'll grab two of those. The gas arrows are 500 a pop. This arrow explodes on impact into a cloud of knockout gas, putting most living creatures inside its area to sleep. It does not arc in flight, so aim on the top of the bow sight. Our question now is do we want to buy another rope arrow or just a ton of broadhead arrows? Probably buy a third rope arrow just to have a spare and then load up on broads. And we're ready to go. Let's check our missions a little bit more specifically. Find the entrance to the Lost City, get 2,000 in loot including 500 in gems, that makes things a little harder. Recover the Keeper Medallion from the Lost Expedition, obtain the Talisman of the Fire, and leave the Lost City. Let's check our scroll. Singar, let me know if you ever come across any good antiques in your uh, explorations. I'd be particularly interested in any ritual headdresses and masks. The gold of the mammal work from Cyric is increasingly rare, and I needn't point out that if you ever find something dating back to the precursors, I'd make you a rich man. Let's hit a pocket of darkness. I don't actually know if we're going to encounter any living people in this level at all. I mean, we can't even open that, that drain entrance, so we're not going straight down there. If I encounter a guard, I will just blindly murder them, because I don't get to do that very often. <laughs> I think we're going to be jumping into that well. Or we could jump into water here. I want to explore as much as I can just to find somewhere somewhere I can go where I can hurt somebody. I've been given I've been given the license to kill. I want to use it. This only happens once in a blue moon. Ah, of course I shall be denied any such kindnesses. You know, I wonder if I could find a way to get up there. Probably not. Probably not. Although, no one around to hear me. They modeled in the windows. I might actually be able to get up this way. Uh oh. Uh oh, game. I'm breaking you. Oh. It's not a fan of that tiled roof. Keep sliding me off of that. But what if I were to just run when I was up it? Ah, oh, almost. Almost. If I could just make it over there. And... Ooh, I can keep going. Nope, never mind. I was going to say I could keep going up, but not from there. Oh, I want to give this another shot. I would so love to Billy Goat this. Come on. Ah. No. Well, maybe. Maybe if I get on it from the edge over here. I know this is probably not very entertaining for you guys, but I really enjoy doing stuff like this. Come on, Garrett. You gotta grab the, the edge there. I'll have to run off of this to get the distance. Okay, fine. We'll leave it be. Oh, look. The thingamajiggy that we need is there. Uh, there. The heck does this lead to? Oh, here. Okay. 
Okay. Well, we have an area here with air in it. That's always a good start. We're not using those breath potions unless we have to, but we'll keep them on standby. Even when it fades off, the next item that I, I scroll to when I press the, the scroll item button will be that. There's a pocket of air here. The game can't make this impossible unless it starts us off with those kinds of potions. It did not. We had to buy them. So the game can't assume we bought them. The game can make us feel really bad that we didn't. We might need him. Now note that I didn't say the game couldn't hurt you for not taking them. All I can hurt you. That's fair game. It just can't make it lethal. <sighs> Crap. I need sword. Sword. Spiders. Die. I hate you. Have that thing! This is a rational weapon against house spiders! Granted, these house spiders are the size of gerbils! And they can deflect sword blows! Yeah. This spider is dynamite! And hello! Did Garrett knock the spider low with his sword? After a mighty epic battle that shall be told in legends for centuries to come. And there are more. Why? Why are you here? There's no food! Uh, all right. There's more of them. Have that thing. Uh-oh. That's not good. That one's going to be a little bit of a harder brick to do with. Don't poison me. Yeah. Ah. I am Garrett, killer of spiders! Fear me! Oh, okay. For a second there, I thought that was something much worse than a spider. I mean, it's lava, but at least lava's not a moving foe. I thought that was one of those fiery guys that I just caught a glimpse of walking off into the distance. Okay, so we can either go the way of lava, or another spider. Die! Ow! I have been bit. Nay, nay, thou shalt bite me. A very different mission from the kind we were just last we were just on. Don't you don't you agree? <clears throat> now we're just fighting spiders. We've gone from sticking around a mage's tower to murdering spiders. Deep! It jumped! Don't jump! Got you! Ha <laughs> ha! If I ever saw a spider the size of a gerbil, I've, I've seen tarantulas, uh, I mean, these are bigger than tarantulas, uh, but if I ever saw a spider that big, I probably would reach for my katana to kill it, and if I swung at it with my katana, and it promptly went ching as it blocked my katana with its sharp chitinous finger so digits. this is the lost city. It's not lost no more. 
and very, very different, as you can tell. As I said, the map wasn't going to help us all that much. I think going this way is a no-go. I don't think Garrett can jump that far. We'll find out. Anyways, if that happened, I would probably just die of a heart attack. Garrett, that wasn't a jump. I, I do appreciate you made some good distance on the fall, but you do actually have to jump. This is actually more possible than I thought it was. Because if that's wood, like I think it is, well, if I actually hit the wood, this becomes a lot more doable because I did make it to that wall. Nope, that is not wood. Those are wood, but I don't think the rope arrow dips far enough. I don't even know if I hit it. Those look like wooden objects, are they not? There we are. I think that's just gonna be my way up once I get over there. I don't think I can. Yeah, that's not happening. Okay. Good that we've established that. Nope, oh, back to the way of lava. Stay dead. You too. And you. Ugh. Do not like the spiders, I do not like them. Was there any treasure in the water that I'm sure I'm not missing? I don't see any shinies. Doesn't look like I'm missing anything. Probably gonna end up having to... No, actually I take it back. I was gonna say I'm probably gonna end up having to come out this way, but that's actually not true. I'll probably find a different way in once we start getting really deep. Or maybe not, we'll see. 10 out of 10 said that would actually hurt if I walked into it. We're probably not done with spiders. There are worse things in the actual city itself. How can the keepers keep this place a secret? They're very good at that, Garrett. You should know you were part of them. I think this place is full of the little fiendish guys that we've encountered once before. Once or twice before. Down we go. Also, I forgot about this part about the Unbid City. The place lights itself up. I had to get away for that burrock zombie. We don't just charge a burrock. Unfortunately, we might be charging a burrock today. Every one of these rooms is lighting up. There it is. I saw you. Gotcha. Kill it and run. Because as you can already hear, there's more of them. And at least one probably has a passing interest of what just happened to his friend. And it's in the room. I know it's in there. Or maybe it didn't get into that far yet. There's some valuables here. We shall have them. Crap. 
Come on, Garrett. Garrett, all you're doing is making a bunch of noise. There. Okay, let's get back to the other room real quick. Or try to. Again. Making a lot of noise, Garrett. Alright, this is as good as a spot as any in the video. Thank you all for watching. This is World Otaku signing off. Take care and bye bye. And when we come back, exploring the Lost City, Indiana Jones style. Including probably a couple of rope swinging instances as, as well. See you later.